Hi, welcome to my digital presentation. My name is Dustin Sumby, and I'd like to talk to you about engineering ethics. So in decision making, we as engineers face important decisions every day. Uh, as professionals, these decisions are frequent and often critical. The problem we face as engineers is doing the right thing. Therefore, how can we use ethics in our decision making and whose best interests should be kept in mind? You first need an understanding of ethics themselves. Ethics are defined as moral principles that govern a person or group's behavior. As Dr. Michael Louie, the electrical engineering professor at Illinois Urban Champaign believes, the idea of engineering as a profession is what separates it from other non-professional types of work. Dr. Louis has done extensive work in this area of engineering ethics. Ethics then come into play uh, in this idea. So as professionals, engineers are required to exercise judgment and must avoid situations in which their judgment is subject to question. This ties back to the original problem statement and says that engineers must avoid the perception that they are acting in their own self-interest to enforce these guidelines and give an ethical guide by which to follow, the fundamental canons have been set forth. There are many areas these standards come into play, including from a safety standpoint. Also in design, with our communication, whether at an internal level or an external level, and just in common practice. So how do ethics apply in the engineering world? Well, really anywhere. Any decision we make as a professional can be made ethically. When faced with an issue, it may be instinct to act quickly or fix the problem off the top of our heads. The thing is, with the set of rules in place, our instinct may not always be the best decision. And these rules must be accounted for in all cases. Sometimes the smallest move can snowball into a costly mistake. So having a greater interest in mind and using our resources, we can then do what is right. So some possible solutions to bettering our engineering ethics and knowledge would we'll start first with just simply knowing yourself and having good personal morals. And a way to do this is just simply through taking the time and going through your life and having those experiences, whether work or personal. So tying back to the earlier slide, uh, know your role as a professional and the difference in judgment from a non-professional area of work. Also know how to apply the fundamental canons and always take full advantage of a different perspective. You also want to utilize the expertise and eth ethical experience available to you. Um, also, most importantly, keep the greater good in mind and think smart. Safety is always definitely key. So to clarify some of the rules set forth as a professional and as an engineer, the fundamental canons can be seen here. So some key takeaways, the public is paramount, safety, health, and welfare. Always be truthful and transparent, and always protect the integrity of the profession. So to investigate this issue, the Citicorp Tower case can be used where the engineer, William LeMichur, was faced with some critical errors in his design and a choice on how he was going to correct them. The canons can be applied in many different ways to this case, mostly involving the public's interests. Some things LeMichur needed to think about were how and if to make a public statement, whether he would accept that he made a mistake and use the help of other experts to correct it, and also how the parties involved would actually go about the construction and then what safety measures were put in place. So in the end, I determined that LeMichur conducted himself honorably 
and avoided any craziness in the public by not issuing a public statement. Although this may not have been his responsibility in the first place. But the proper safety plans were executed and the problem was corrected discreetly. So Lemisher used ethics in keeping the better interests of the public in mind and acting as an established professional. Just some statistics uh, from an ethical standpoint. These are some engineering disasters which actually cost lives and could have been preventable just using good ethical judgment. So the Columbia disaster was an astronaut failure where a rocket exploded. Uh, the classic Tacoma Bridge, which collapsed, and the Hyatt, which was a, sky, uh, a skywalk, which collapsed and killed over 100 people. A lot of these failures are just simply due to miscommunication and a flaw in a design. These are just some additional pictures of engineering failures, just in any aspect of life, safety, security, um, using the right types of communication, being a professional, all preventable. So what I recommend is just to be ethical in our decision making as engineers. We must always just be truthful and keep in mind the rules set forth by our moral code. So the decision making process needs to conform to the situation at hand. But safety should always be the number one influence in our judgment. Thank you.